Right, local 10 has the autopsy report for the shooting death of Jermaine McBean. You may recall McBean was shot and killed by a BSO deputy after he allegedly refused to put down an unloaded air rifle. McBean's family believes the autopsy proves deputies weren't telling the truth about what really happened. Local 10 News reporter Michael Seiden has the latest you'll see only on the one and only. Well, good evening. You know, the BSO deputy who used to work here before he was indicted by a grand jury has said that he felt threatened, left with no choice but to open fire. But tonight, the attorney representing the McBean family says that he has looked at this autopsy and it proves that that deputy was lying. 33-year-old Jermaine McBean lost his life in 2013. The computer engineer's death ruled a homicide, shot and killed by BSO deputy Peter Peraza. And he's carrying like what looks like some sort of BB gun, shotgun, I don't know what it is. But the attorney for the McBean family says the autopsy shows that the deputy is lying. By all accounts, he had the air rifle over his shoulders and behind his neck, hands nowhere near the trigger. David Schoen says the Emmy's report proves that McBean did not point the gun at Peraza. If he was facing Peraza and he actually had his uh, air gun leveled, you would expect to see some markings on his arms or on the gun, the stock of the gun itself, and straight through the chest. I can spin here, and as I spin, I'm a threat. David Ward is a retired police chief and homicide detective who spent four decades in law enforcement. The autopsy report reflects again, entry at the top of the shoulder, entry at midline, middle, middle chest, entry. Bullets lodge down here, bullet lodge here. The trajectory is downward, consistent with a person bent over, possibly in a threatening manner. If physics doesn't allow the bullet to hit here and go this way, and there's no indication in the autopsy report that it struck anything. I actually seen it happen. Back in June, Local 10's Bob Norman interviewed a man who claims he saw it all. Did he point the weapon at them? Never did. He never did? Never did. I'm telling you he pointed at him because I know what the evidence is. Defense attorney Eric Schwartzreich says McBean left his client with no choice but to open fire. He did not obey commands, and he turned with a rifle towards deputies. What was Deputy Peraza supposed to do? Was he supposed to go home in a coffin? Now, right after that shooting that uh, happened, we are told that these attorneys, they went back and they started looking at things, and that is when that picture resurfaced. There was a picture showing McBean's body with earbuds, and his attorney claims that he didn't hear those commands because he had earbuds in. Now, tonight, the defense attorney, he is claiming it did not matter if he had earbuds in or not. He pointed a gun at a law enforcement agent, and that is why he was shot. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you any new information that develops. For now, we are live in Fort Lauderdale. Michael Seiden, Local 10 News. Okay.